Hi, I'm Steve with uh, the Contractor Sales Academy. My partner, Tom Reber, and I, we started this, uh, this uh, coaching business about a year ago. And I just wanna sort of tell you what's in my head right now. Why did I start my business? Why did you start your business, okay? I started my own business in a vacuum. This is my second big time business, okay? I started it my own way. I started to make some money, okay? I had no outside influences. I didn't know how other pond companies ran their businesses. As you can see, I run my business. I'm a small contractor. I run it out of a single bay of my garage, okay? We build ponds and waterfalls, all right? I had no idea how to run a pond and waterfall business, and thank God I didn't. Because now I get to do what I want, make the money I want, run my business the way I want to run my business. And I've recently found out that there's a whole lot of small contractors out there that are just going through hell and back trying to just stay afloat in their business. When I started my business, I said I want three things in this order. I want to have fun, I want to change lives, and I want to make money. And I got to have all three of them. So I have outlined here five things I want to talk to you about, okay? The first one is money. So I went in business to make more money, not less money, okay? I didn't want to break even. I don't want to struggle, okay? I didn't want to just make it. I didn't want to just work for somebody else and make mediocre money. I started my business because I had dreams of doing better than that, okay? Again, I want to make as much money as I can. I can teach you how to make more money and we could change lives at the same time. Number two, I thought I was gonna be my own boss. Well, guess who your bosses are? All your clients, you're a boss to your QuickBooks, you're a boss to all your employees, your spouse, your banker, the guy who fills up your gas tank at the gas station, everybody's your boss, right? You thought you were gonna be your own boss. Well, guess what? If you let everybody else be your boss, they are your boss. So you gotta put your foot down and say, I'm in control, I'm running this ship, I am the boss. Understand, you get what you accept, okay? If you accept all those people being your boss, they will be, all right? You choose who's the boss is, not them. Number three, time. I never thought this was gonna be a cakewalk. In fact, I knew I was gonna be working a lot of hours, all right? But let me tell you what I believe in hours. People that work 40 hours a week, the regular people, they make regular money, okay? 50 hours they make more money, 60 they, they presumably make more money. But I don't want to be a slave to time. I'm not interested in having a job where I work 80 miserable hours a week. I don't want that. I don't mind working 60 hours, 70 hours, whatever it takes, but I want it spread out. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy what I'm doing. I want to go hiking. I want to have great communication with my clients and my employees. I, I'm okay with this. This lets me go do things I enjoy doing and stay in touch with the rest of the world, okay? So you can get your time back, okay, by just doing a little smarter. You don't have to work more, you just have to work smarter. Number four, stress and control. Whew, I could fill up three hours on stress and control, okay? I want less stress in my life, not more. And I think most of our business are creating more stress. I want to be in control. I want to be in control of my circumstances. I don't want my circumstances to run my life, okay? I want to be in charge of my own destiny. I want to do what I want to do. I don't want my business to run me. I want to run my business. Are you tired of running around like, like a chicken with your head cut off? Are you on the hamster wheel? Are you constantly going out to customers and just tap dancing, hoping you get these proposals, okay? I'm not doing that, all right? I do not want them to bring the fight to me. I want to take the fight to them, okay? I want to run my business. I know stuff happens, but I refuse to let this thing run me, okay? So I get my stress and my control under my own circumstances, okay? Finally, retirement. I think we all have dreams of killing it big and business and making a ton of money and selling it off to Wall Street or whoever comes along at the end and sailing away on our new boat to retirement. We don't always work like that. I have found that over many, many years, if you bust your ass and you live below your means and you save some money, you put money away for retirement and a compound and all these boring things that these business gurus talk about, it comes true. After 20, 30, 40 years of that, you will have enough to retire, okay? So you gotta make the money today, 
That's what the first four things, making them in a lifestyle that's not driving you crazy, put it away so one day you can sell it off, okay? I'm in the process of doing that with my own company now. It's a multi-year process. I've been prepping my guys, some of my employees to buy me out for seven years. It's not like, oh, I'm selling my company. I have been planning this for a long time because at the end of it all, you know what you're gonna get? The same thing I want, and that's the power to choose my life. At the end of it all, I just want a choice. You may not want to quit work. You may make so much money you want to donate it all to charity. That's okay. All of it's okay, but I want the power to choose. I want to decide how my life ends, okay? So I hope you join the Contractors uh, Sales Academy, and uh, we talk about all this stuff. We do it every single week in the webinar. So anyways, I hope this was good for you. My name is Steve. I'm with the Contractor Sales Academy. Have a good day.